Hello and welcome back, dear friends. It's me, Odo, and I am back in something new. Uh, or not really new, but something I was playing before, but stopped playing because it was too tedious, and now I start again. Um, because of some changes in the game. Especially one change um, that I hope is uh, so nice that it's easier to play for me. Okay, you you can see I'm here in Pathfinder Kingmaker and let's start a new game. Um, I will uh, do a custom difficulty setting. I'll start from normal and uh, we make normal critical hits. I think this is more challenging. Probably, yeah, it's more challenging. <laughs> I'm not sure if afterwards we are uh, even farther than challenging. From Death Store, we keep that. So we only die um, if we die twice with a character without. Um, doing some rest in between. Um, our dead companions don't ride off combat. Or should they? Hmm. I don't know. Um, ah, this is probably if... I, I understand if they totally died, they rise, but we don't let them ride. That's okay. Remove negative effects on rest. No. Uh... Ah, yeah, I know what I, what this means. This would mean that all of the um, like level drains or stuff like that would be gone with rest. Uh, you don't take this. You need spells like restoration or something like that. Auto level up is off. Enemy stat adjustment somewhat easier. Enemies, other enemies. We also want damage to party at 1.0, so the, they make same damage to us as we do them. Enemy difficulty normal. The party speed depends on the weight you're carrying. Nah, I don't want this. Weight is so stupid and tedious. Enable character retrain. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't want this. Probably it would be better. Nah. Kingdom management normal. Only active companions receive experience. Nah. This would even further that we only take some of our companions if only these got gets taken. Only skill user in our master scanty mode. That only one safe spot available in the mode. Yeah. No. <laughs> we don't play a uh, um an Iron Man mode. Immersive mode, whatever, show tutorial, no. Okay, next. We create a new character. I have already sorted out which character we are taking. I think we uh, uh what is we are doing an elf and <coughs> a more or less evil elf. Uh let's make her female. Let's make her an elf. Um I'm not sure. Like, yeah. This this looks stupid. This arms are much too thick for this body. I mean, the arms are more or less the same thickness of the body. <laughs> okay, face, whatever. Oh. No. No. Ah, probably. Can we scroll in? No. 
Yeah, let's take this face. The smirk. Skin tone. Yeah, let's let it there. Hairstyle. Um, let's move around. Nah. Nah. Nah, vielleicht. Of course not. No, no. Uh, probably. Ah, this would be okay. Nah, nah. Let's take this one. Yeah, why not? Hair color. She's brown haired. Like this. Okay. Did we get her right? Uh, more or less. She's left-handed. <coughs> Next. Um, I wanted to play someone more or less um, evil. And I found, and also I wanted to to take a person uh, doing some some uh, only some magic and some mundane stuff, and therefore the alchemist is a great a great guy. Also, the magus would be great, but uh, with the alchemist there is one class which is called the vivisectionists. <laughs> that sounds really great for an evil, for a lawful evil character. Um, maybe sectionists studies bodies understand their function, unlike a chirurgeon. The vivisectionist's goal is uh, not related to healing, but rather to experimentation and knowledge that most people would consider evil. <clears throat> so we get a sneak attack. Um, every time we get a person, uh, the character's attack deals extra damage any time her target would be denied a dexterity bonus to AC, whether the target actually has a dexterity bonus or not, or when the character flanks her target. So if we flank, we also get this. This extra damage is 1d6 and increases by 1d6 later level. Uh, at later levels, so yeah, it's 2d6, 3d6, and so on until 10d6, which is whew, really high. <laughs> um, must be able to see the target well enough to pick out the vital spot, and must be able to reach. Okay, uh, we get the motor gen, uh, which is great because we can. Uh, Build, uh, we can boost our dexterity in favor of um, wisdom, uh, which is great because uh, we will do damage with dexterity and, and hits with dexterity, so probably this will be great. We will do fights with small weapons like daggers and stuff. Also, we have uh, uh, from the second level on poison resistance and medical discoveries. I don't know what these medical discoveries are, but we get, get them every two levels. And probably uh, some things like uh, gruesome, <laughs> uh, gruesome vivisection or something like that. I don't know. I. I, I really don't know this 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 class, but it sounds beautiful. Um, she's still an alchemist, so ki she can uh, she can make bombs and can throw them. Uh, I'm not sure if she can make them. An alchemist, you have the yeah, you have the ability to create bombs. You, she can't do this, or can she? No. But yeah, well, that's okay. So, next. Yeah, we want to get rid of our con matters. We want to have quite some intelligence for good, um, for good spells and a lot of decks. At least 14. Probably 16. 
for um, for to hit chance and for throwing and stuff like that. And we want wisdom and a bit charisma, probably a bit more. And there is one point we can give into strength or con. So probably con. If we go to next level uh, or to fourth level, I believe we gain a ability score, then the con would be plus one also giving us more hit points. So now we have nine hit points, which is not great, but it's also not too bad. Uh, we have a high int and dex score. And we want these two, these knowledge skills. We also want uh, perception because that's always good. Trickery, I'm not sure if we need trickery to unlock things and do stuff, probably. How many points do we still have to? Let's take law nature and use magic device. Okay. okay. That. Okay, we can take a I think we will take the weapon finesse because I mean it's great. Because we can now use daggers and uh hit people with dexterity instead of strength. So also our melee is based on dex and not strength. Later on we can probably gain stuff that we um, can also deal damage with dex and not with strength. I'm pretty sure this is... So we get some spells. Um, let's take Bitewounds, Enlarge Person, Expeditious Retreat, Fire Belly is okay, Reduced Person is okay, Shield is good, and True Strike. We don't take any of the Alchemist special things like Bomber's Eye or Target hit bomb at next gen. Also, stone fist is is really stupid. We will not attack in a, um with no weapons. Normally, we won't do this. So, yeah, you probably saw that I did this before. I had some some run at this uh, like one hour or so just to look if this character would be playable. Take a cunning voice because well we are cunning and we are lawful evil. I will um, tend more to lawful than to evil, so if we have two choices like lawful neutral and neutral evil, we will normally take the lawful neutral thing. But normally I want to stick with my, um, with my alignment. But lawful good is better than chaotic evil. We don't like chaos. So, when are we born? Let's say on the 10th of whatever, I hold it, 8th month. We probably get some since then. Um, yeah, we need a name. And I think I will call her Slarty Bard Farm. Although this was a man, um, she will do fine as Slarty Bart fast. This is a good name for an alchemist. Cuts open living things.
Hmm? Hesitation is a waste of time. Is it? So we are quite. Yeah, well, I f I think this is okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if you are familiar with uh, all the backstory, so we will skip most of the dialogue or at least go through it very fast. Uh, because it's, I mean, it's a bit tedious and I, I saw it a lot of times now and we probably won't need it. Uh, it's more or less that we are some adventurer and we are called to rest off. Yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, we are called here by Lady Aldori, or Lady whatever, and... Where are they? This is taking forever! Didn't yes. Yeah, this is one of the guys we will travel with. This is Amiri, a uh, barbarian, as you can probably guess. <laughs> we will like her. If you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. Just go back to your mountains or whatever hole you found out. <laughs> yeah. Our Tuchiko, our first enemy, you could say. And he's an um, arrogant ass. Although he's a gnome, I like, I really like gnomes. They are really great. I like them as a, as a, as playing as character. I really play them uh, more often than most other races or when I'm playing pen and paper. They are really great. <laughs> they are witty and, um, and Cunning and most of the time they are um, well, just just intelligent. <laughs> and this is Lindsay. She will follow us around more or less all the time, and she's our chronologist or bard. In my first game that I started, I wanted to play a bard, and she was the first character who runs around with you <laughs> which is great because then we were two bards <laughs> running around yeah okay there starts the backstory oh this is so so slow can this speed up a bit my computer is so slow Yeah, yeah, whatever. We thank you from the bottom of our yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We need to get rid of a uh, bandit lord. I'm not sure if we if we take there some some questions we learn. I'm the leader of this team to all, learn more people enough, know, to know. We haven't yet begun, and you all just speak of giving rewards. Yeah, this is Harim. People even succeed. There's little point arguing over who gains the title when we'll most likely lose our lives there. Yeah, whatever. Harim is always depressed. He's a great character. He has really good lines. <laughs> If I may please answer, yeah, whatever. Equally deserving of a noble yeah, yeah. Over the Why not just recognize the stag lord? Ah, here is Chaffle. I think she's the last one. The region with confidence. Many noble bloodlines were started by bandits who just got lucky. She's also an elf, uh, but she's undead. 
And she's, I believe, also... She's also an evil character. So we will uh, just work fine together, I hope. So, at least. Um, she's a vampire, I believe. Not, sh not truly sure. Uh, she's some kind of undead with a curse on her. And she runs around with a really mighty spell. I think it's Skyf. It's called Skyf. Um, she's an inquisitor. Kind of interesting um, character type as well. Because we do have standards to maintain. Yeah, yeah, whatever. This room has you are helping us found a barony. What so do you gain? Oh, I should... of yeah, whatever. We stand to benefit. Whatever. Ah, Cassie. I don't know. I think we could take her as well. But I don't know how. <laughs> In no campaign I ever played, she was joining my team. Or, or joining... Um, joining Tatucho's team. I, I really don't know how to get her into the team. What rewards can we expect? And what reward would you see? Yeah. We'll absorb the cost. Words, words, words. Yeah, and as I said, this is a Miri. Of course. Now you're talking. Okay. Excellent. Good. Thank you again. And dialogue. Whatever. They want us to fight. Most of them Hi, go. My name's Lindsay. I'm a bard, so this is my first real adventure. So, shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? Yeah, whatever. We sure will. Just wait. Plenty of great feats in store. <laughs> I have no doubt. Kind of related, I wanted to ask you something. Yeah, whatever. How do you feel about this Cartuccio fellow? Yeah, yeah, she wants to write a book about a us. Just after the Baron's crown, or whatever it is Barons wear. It doesn't matter. I don't like him. I should have let you. You know what the trouble with most heroes biographies yeah, yeah. is? They're always written years later, based on the tales of best case. And then I thought, I could be that bard. I just yeah. needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on okay. this long adventure. Okay, as we are... Lawful evil, we are very self-possessed with ourselves, so this is the this is the answer of choice, but I mean we can't do anything wrong there anyway. See you in the morning. Okay. Okay, we have here this mutagen. I I don't know how this comes into play. I mean, it was probably doing this for me. I want to, yeah. Shield and reduce person. I don't know why reduce person. I mean, no one really needs reduce person. Big fire belly. Shield is okay. We can take this as. We have two spells at the start of the game. Okay, let's move it. The way seems clear. So let's do our first fight and then we stop for today. Ah, I forgot. Probably. What's going on? Really? Oh my gosh. Okay. There is the villain. Enter villain. You are not going anywhere. They should have known better. Ah. I already put it to turn base mode. Did I? Oh. 
Okay. Okay, this was interesting. Okay, so we like like within Divinity, you have here uh, based on our um, oh, he's flat-footed. This is great. We can see here uh, details of our enemies. So we can see he has five hit points. He's flat-footed. So if we attack him, we normally get the we normally should get the. Bonus. Yeah. Okay, we can see here how much we. Uh, how much is finished? Really? Assassin dies. Starting plus deals not seven damage. So we had a 1d8 for the crossbow and 1d6 for the uh, sneak attack. We don't have any bonuses because we don't have a. Uh, strength bonus. Also, I think we are fighting with a cross now, so we wouldn't get the uh, strength bonus anyway. <coughs> so seven points, and he's dead, Jim. So normally we should take everything, like this dagger, and this chain shot, because. We will probably fight with the dagger. I'm not sure. I mean, with the dagger, we can make um, sneak attacks easier, much easier. And we could take this chain shirt. We have a maximum dexterity of four. Yeah, that's still okay because we only have plus. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else to plunder? Nope. Quiet footsteps. Uh, where are you going? I want to. Take another dagger. Uh, we don't have to take everything because um, because at the end of each level we are asked if we want to plunder everything. But if you want to uh, equip something more or less directly, okay, what's that? We got someone. We have to help, okay? They dare threaten me. Okay, um, again. Interesting, why didn't it start? Okay, with the daggers we have a problem. Ah, they are flat-footed at the start of the... Uh, I should have kept the... I should have kept the... Ospo on. Yeah. Put it, they don't get an attack of opportunity. Oops, critical hit one. This can't be. Okay, so let's see. 
Well, with two deckers, we can attack two times. You're just in time. A bit longer, and I'd have been. Whew, I don't even want to think about it. Yeah, you imagine what a we saved you. We are so great. Yeah, whatever. And he gives us a present, which is a trap. But yeah, who cares? Eventually we will get rid of him anyway. So let's move there. Is there anything to look at? It's a cupboard with stuff in it. Okay, at this point, my dear friend, I will stop for today. Next time we will do some more fights and hopefully we can get for real. Oh, there is also And get done more. Yeah, I don't Precisely. need that. Ah. Oh. Okay, this is closed anyway. We can't get there. Okay, at this point, my dear friends, I say good night, sleep well. Until then, bye.